Hey, welcome back. Bot follow-up day three. And we have a bot infestation everywhere here. So there is so many bots that there is not enough mobs to go around. There's a couple uh, players here actually. No. So we don't know if they're actually protecting the bots or what. Go back and check this out. So yeah, so the entire area is completely overflown. Um, the same bots that are there from three days ago now have still are here. So we have a guy over here botting. Sunning. We have Boozer. And you can see they all do have their suspicious user debuff on. Jovener. Claudio Stolinsky. We have uh, Portofo, whatever heck his name is. It's totally a body, doesn't attack you, just runs over to his mob. And here's old buddy, Belds, still here, doesn't even have his debuff on because the uh, bot person is either taking it off, or, you know, XL Games doesn't really give a shit about bots and they're not going to ban them. So here is Sunning. So again, this is the third day after the videos. Completely filled here with bots. We have a uh, player who's actually going and killing bots, it looks like. Ugh, and you're getting stun locked. But yeah, my build is not built for player versus player. It is an AoE build. So you can see they're potentially killing off the bots, and here they are resting, and they're going off. So these are more bots that they've killed off. Then you'll notice the bot runs right back to his little farming area. And there's really no point in giving them the debuffs because the Tryon is not doing anything about it. So we're wasting labor. Every time you report them, it costs you 25 labor. So stop reporting them because Tryon doesn't give a fuck about the bots. They're not banning them. They're not removing them from the game. So the game is going to die in a few weeks because of bots overflowing everywhere. You'll see the chat spams are constantly spammed with gold sellers. The gold prices are dramatically increasing for the amount of money that you have to spend. Right now it's around like $100 or $10 for 100 gold. Um, and in a week or so that will be like 500 gold for $10. And then it will be like 1,000 gold for $10. And you know it will get to a point where players are buying tons and tons of gold to make their characters extremely strong. And the whole pay to win aspect of anyone who's buying gold from the gold farmers is actually going to have a superior character 
compared to people that are actually playing in the game. Because once the gold prices go up to say like 500 gold for $10, there's no way to make 500 gold, uh, you know, in, in about a few hours. It's just, it's just impossible to make that much gold in a few hours. So $10 is typically a hourly wage for most players in America. Um, so right there, so in an hour, you can work a job, get $10, buy $500 worth of gold here in game, and have a really, really strong character. Um, so yeah, the bots are definitely going to ruin the economy. They're going to ruin the game. You're going to see they're going to overflow all this area here, and the chat spam is only going to get worse as it goes forward. So unless Tryon actually puts their money where their mouth is and starts banning bots, uh, Arcage is screwed.